All right, we are getting ready to roll off here at the back of the field in the truck series. And, uh, we'll have a good race. Um, just got to be patient and not get caught up in anything stupid. Uh, it's not really... You can't really save tires. You can and you can't. Um, so it's really not too big of a deal. I just... I know that things get crazy with uh, this type of racing with the trucks, especially in open. So we're just going to be patient, hopefully have a good race, and uh, not get caught up in anything stupid. But if we do, so be it. And make sure all that's ready. I feel like there's green. something weird going on graphically, so hopefully we don't have any issues. Oh well, yeah, green. always good to hop in the trucks for an open race. Green, green, I don't green. do a lot of them anymore because I don't want to do two different truck races in a week with the league. But once again, the number five. So just need to get a top five if possible. You'll see me do a little lifts offs. Um, really, they're not going to do anything for us. I'm just trying not to overdrive the corner, especially when we have draft and a bunch of trucks in our way. Nowhere to go. Maybe we'll try to close up here if it looks safe. Definitely a little loose, but we're fairly quick it looks like. I'm not going to go three wide for near last, especially when there is no reason to do so. Looks like they're already getting weird up ahead at the tail end of the big pack. Let's keep our eye on that. tell that people behind are lifting off a little bit in the corner, so some are doing a bit of saving. I don't want to do too much saving because I think that'll just make us even looser. But again, I really don't know what this is going to do long run. The, for some reason, we're on 65 degree air temp here, so is a really cool day. Track temp only 67. But like anything in modern NASCAR, it's a bit about saving. It's a bit about waiting until tires are an issue and then making passes. won't worry too much about track position at this point. If we do go long green, then we should make up a few positions plus pit stops and Alright, so we will hop in the pits, get some fuel, no tires. Although we have three sets of tires, so we probably could take tires if we wanted to. Seven car is broken and going into the pits, I think. Now 
man. We'll go in and top off and then just be set for a little longer run, which might help us. are as well. I doubt we've done much wear to them. Right here. 99.98 on the rights. Okay, punch it. I'm just going to go all the way to the back. All clear, punch it. Just hit begin fuel again, just so that it top it off right before we left. Not that we used much, but you never know. Line up, single file. Catch up, 24 cast. It looks like we can go probably around 40, 45 laps on a tank. Probably 45. 45 to 50. And we've already got lap traffic, so we're doing an extra pace lap anyways. This is just, uh, Strange race. How's there already a lap car? Someone must have started from the pits. I'll just go in and fuel again. Not that it's going to do us any good for any strategy, but might as well. We're all, all the way at the back. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Okay, punch it. So I think uh, four people are out of the race now. No, there's one person that fell out that's six there laps down. So car. that's why we're doing Get extra up, lap. It's because there's a lap car that wasn't involved in the wreck. Hopefully this isn't too much of a wreck fest. That was a weird one to have happen at the end of the straight. Someone just got hooked into the outside wall. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the outside. Jets up. 25 car. Jets up. 17 car. They are going back in for more fuel. They're definitely not getting damage fixed. But there's nothing that you gain from this point with 70 to go. I'm just doing it to have something to do because we're under yellow. So, we essentially lost three or four spots by doing that. We probably could have taken tires easily and not been worried since we're already on lap 10 and we've got three sets of tires, but no use in doing that. It's not going to gain us an advantage. and. Uh, we're going to be going slow here, waiting for people to fall off anyways. So 
So we'll settle in. Ice car is off. Be ready. See where the craziness is and try to avoid being around it. watching right at the tail end of the front pack. They're getting kind of crazy. We got a lap car coming up as well. Nearly three wide. They are three wide off the corner. Now they're four wide. We go 42 laps. We've done, what, three, four laps? So we can go about 45 laps, we'll say. I don't want to lose the draft, so we're going to suck back up here, hopefully. Uh, lap car up by the wall. He's just staying up out of everyone's way. Back up to the draft. Just don't want to use too much of the tires in the corner, but I don't know how much the little lifts are going to help. But I know people are going to start getting tight and loose and having issues, so we'll just try to avoid those issues. if this guy's trying to race or fall to the back or damaged or what. I don't know why you'd go down and block <coughs> if you're falling to the back. Getting out of whack on corner entry, but they all 
give room. It's going to slow everyone down. They're going to be four wide off the corner. They're making contact. One's down on the apron. Can't see what's going on on the high side, but I don't think anyone got bounced up there. Now they're four wide again with the lap car trying to make it a tight four wide on the bottom. Now the lap car is not even the lucky dog right now. Yes, he's never been the lucky dog because someone's out there one lap down. So I guess he does. His only way is to go forward and hope to get a yellow ahead of the leaders. Speaking of, leaders are three wide. I think that smoke was someone blinking. We just backed off from this pack a bit just to give ourselves some room while they were looking crazy. Catch back up now. Should take us a lap. Starting to see people run a little bit higher. So I think we're getting some with some handling issues. Don't know if we're going to run into that. I know Daniel said something changed on the truck set. Made older sets not work quite the same, but I did some practice laps and didn't really feel like it was terrible, just maybe a little loose, but we can deal with that. So right now at this point, for me, there's no point in trying to race and get up in there because you're going to be driving really hard and really not making up much ground. And so you're going to be using more tires. You're not going to be making up a whole lot of ground. Whereas later on, as the field starts to slowly spread apart or we get to green flag stops, going to be able to make up a lot more around that time, so we're just going to be patient here. They could easily wreck again. One little prediction code issue could cause a wreck. Doesn't even need to be crazy drivers. But this is a good little run for us to figure out what this truck's going to do. Hopefully we've got some speed on the long run. There are three in multiple places, but it shouldn't be too hard to stay alive. Three, someone's pushing up bad though. Nearly got in the wall, I think a few people saw that. Now he's cutting down on a guy and nearly got himself spun. He's up in the wall. Looks like they're going to survive. They do. Back to two wide. We've got 30 laps of fuel left. Not quite sure what the 18s are doing here. out of nowhere. Wasn't ready for that at all. 18 is just backing off for us though. I think I kind of pinched it down. We might have to start running up a little higher because we're getting loose. We're just lifting a little bit. We got smoke. I think that was someone actually getting loose. 
prediction code. One of the orange cars up there. Wide again. Now we can start working our way up there in the wall. No yellow. He's just going to drive down in front of everyone, though. Go high. The yellow flag is out. Line up single file. Pit road is closed. That didn't need to be a yellow, but then he decided to just turn left in front of the field. I didn't want to lift in case he kept it straight and against the wall, but then when he started turning down, we nearly got into the back of the guy. That puts us at 50 to go. I think we can make it on fuel from here. But I don't think we're going to get that long of a green run anyways. <laughs> Tires on, make sure we're taking full fuel and not this auto fuel stuff. So I shouldn't be trying to get on the outside of people because we're going to be pitting before all of them. Maybe not this guy. Right here. Tires 89, 84. Definitely using up the right rear. That's it, go! They want you in single file. Catch up, nine, We'll decide after we do one more lap if we're going to come in and top off. I'll see how much I use here. might want to tighten it, but I just don't think that's going to be good for us. Got a lot of track position, and we've used about a lap of fuel. But we are, yeah, we, we need more fuel. <clears throat> go ahead and come in and top off and go to the back because I don't think they're done wrecking. And I'd rather just not be in the middle of the wrecking. Plus, I think everyone that already pit is going to come back in and pit. So, we're still going to have that track position. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. All clear. Punch it. Just 
just don't want to pull out in case he doesn't get into his box in time, and then we one to go. Next time by. Wreck. Line up on the inside. Catch up. Nine. Car. All right, so we got about 0.2 gallons of fuel off of that. I'm not gonna speed my way up there because that's just gonna negate everything that we did fuel wise there, but we've got a little bit more. And everyone's going to be single file behind us. I figured the people that pit last time were just going to not pit this time. About to go green, stay focused. But let's see how this goes. Pace car is off. Someone very loose up ahead. Multiple people very loose up ahead. Just gonna have to wait. Go three wide middle because nowhere else to go. We are slightly to the good by 0.38. That's good news. Get past this guy so we stop dealing with that. We don't need to pass people unless, like, I could have tried to force something there and get low, but we don't need to do anything. We don't even need to defend if we get someone tossing it in. We just need to breathe it a little bit to save a little fuel. Try to keep it on the right front so we don't get too loose. We are going to be going quicker than we have been. And just try not to have any issues. and how he's driving. Still good on fuel. People that didn't hit are probably good on fuel too from what I'm showing. But it doesn't matter unless they don't bounce back out on track. We're still green. Couple free spots. Continue on. 13 got extremely loose. He was the one that was falling backwards really hard, wasn't he? Pretty sure. Get around. 
him. Alright. Getting tighter on fuel, about 0.2, so... But that's with us really pushing to the edge here. The pace is going to slow down if we do go a full fuel run, so I don't think anyone is in trouble. It's going to come down to handling if it goes green more than it's going to be fuel. are quicker. When they get here, we'll let them go. 0.18 now. Still right at that. We'll breathe off a little bit here while we can, save a bit, try to stay in the draft a little bit. Just the tiniest of breathing. That, that saved us. 0 0.01. Actually, 0 0.03 is what it's showing that we saved there, so... Or no, 0 0.01, sorry. Read it wrong. This should be a little more. You can definitely hear the engine starting to bog a bit now, too, so... We're losing that speed in the center of the corner. Let the 17 go. Any little bit we can save right now is good. Someone way off the pace in the racing groove. Okay, he gets down. I was like, is this guy just going to try to wreck the field? Well, he's still going to accomplish that. Car outside. Caution. Yellow flag. Line up. Congrats, eight. Eh? That, was, that was some amazing stuff there. Catch that too, car. At least we didn't get an X for it. I don't think we got any damage for it. Take a little bit of fuel. And some tires. Catch up, two car. Catch up, nineteen car. Pit road is now open. And they are wrecking, getting onto pit road as the lap car stomps on the brakes in front of everyone. That was nice of him. Pit box in 10. Alright, we know the 28's Five, pitting in front of us now. 3, 2, 1, right here. 
And we're at 96, 93. God, do I tighten this thing up a little bit? No, I think our lower fuel is going to start tightening us up. Tightening, 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 making us tighter. We're done. Get going. Be mindful. You only have one set of tires remaining. They want you in single file. Already down to one set of tires left, but we're within 30 laps, so glad we didn't randomly take that first set of tires. We would have not been in a good position here. 11 got himself a penalty. Six got a penalty. I wonder if that was from the lap car and they got a passing. Well, we're in sixth. I think we'll just try to stay up here. So yeah, I would throw something in it to tighten it up but I think the lower fuel is going to help us be a little bit tighter so we'll just go with it and hope but no more fuel saving or worrying about that uh, I mean, I'll save a little bit here just in case we get some green-white checkers, but we should be good enough without running around in fourth gear, and I'm sure we're not done with yellows. on the outside and now we gotta see what it's like to be further up the field and we really haven't even passed One anyone green. you're on the outside this time 29 just ended up here. Zero, two, three. they keep wrecking it's like I've made what two maybe three passes on track Then we've got like eight positions from Rex and two from people on pit road, and then we got a bunch from when everyone pit twice or three times on that caution, and we pit twice. So it doesn't even matter that we're not really making passes. find a place to settle in up here though because we do know we're a little loose and we don't want to get into anything too crazy we still got 27 laps to go so restart zone Big gap behind the 28. It's gone now. He does a big lift off though. And they're wrecking behind him. And now we're in fifth.
just hear him lift off massively. I knew we were going to get clear mid-corner. Didn't matter, though. Pace truck just hauled ass. Pace car down the back stretch. So they wanted him up big at the back. That might have been all the people that had penalties there. And then, uh, yeah, this is... It's essentially not a whole lot we need to worry about now. Other than just getting caught up in something. Hopefully it's not yellow after yellow after yellow to the end, because that would be boring. Car three, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Let us three, car bike. Catch the 19 car. So yeah, I'm not sure what else I'm going to race this week. I don't even know where the super formula is. We'll see. Have a fairly easy work week. But I was just kind of, I don't know, after taking last week off for work, um, taking it off from making videos, I just kind of lost my momentum of making videos. So it was really hard to sit down and do a couple of races today. I mean, I'm getting it done, but I just need to get back in that rhythm just for next week to have the same busy work week. But hopefully I will uh, be able to make some videos throughout that. Just got to remember that it makes me some decent money and try different things. I want to get a decent group of people together and run the Advanced Legends, but I know if we get a bunch of people to sign up, we're going to get a bunch of trash in there as well. We'll see if we can survive this one. Down to 22 laps when we go green. That's right about when our truck starts getting loose, but hopefully with this uh, lower fuel, we'll be set perfectly and can kind of hold on to the stop five. Try to stay out of everyone's mess. Line up on the inside, 51.134. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone that got sent to the back there that we saw was in that last wreck. It looked like it was a pretty big one. Need to get a little better shifting though. For some reason I'm not shifting early enough. So I'm kind of hanging up on the shift and then it's costing us just a tiny bit of time.
so far back there and falling asleep. I think everyone else is starting first. Four car might have just got a penalty. Pretty sure he got a black flag. Side of him, and they're wrecking again. There was no way, like, I was gonna have to go to the third lane if we were gonna let him to our inside. So there was no way in hell I was gonna do that. We were either gonna get wrecked or he was gonna back off. He just barely had a shred of the front end on our inside. Thankfully, he backed off. The name sounds familiar. But yeah, I think the four black flagged himself there by jumping that start. I think second place, or third place tricked him into going. So he may be pitting under green and uh, most of the field where we were has died and now we are under 20 to go and I'm going to fall asleep before this one is over this is taking way too long for 80 laps at Vegas car 3 got the lucky dog let them pass on the outside So it looks like there is 13 cars still on track. Everyone else is pitting to get damage. So I'm going to assume there's only 13 cars that don't have damage, but probably less. And there's a possibility the four has a black flag and is going to have to pit on the restart. to solve something. We allowed everyone behind us to get too big of a run off the corner. But I don't want to start low lining, low lining off the corner right now because that's just going to make them want to dive in and pass us if they think we're going to be blocking 19 to go. Just need to get better starts. But we all got really hung up weird there too it's like the leader didn't go after the four went and things got really weird I mean because the leader is now in third so fourth place is in second idea what's going on with my dash. It's sitting there flashing massively. Oh, man. I want to get this over with. I think there's probably only 11 people that don't have damage from what I'm seeing.
One to go, next time by. Line up on the inside. Catch up, 12. Car, 31.363. Oh, we'll see what games happen here. If the guy's going to be pitting in three and four, and we're going to have to go middle, or if he just brake checks the 12, thinking that the 12 hit the brakes or something, or maybe he didn't get a black flag and there's no issues whatsoever. Outside line did not get a good start. Let's hope he doesn't have to pit, because we're going to be wedged in here. how to get a run, but I don't think that's much of a possibility. That was weird. I don't know what happened there on entry. We got loose. That's not going to be good. Stay alive. Don't really have much of a chance to do anything here. Had to try something there. Didn't work though. Seeing if this guy was going to give us a big push. Still 
Ford's 19 has no idea how to stay low. Great job, dude. Fucking set up shop, idiot. He just kept pushing up and pushing up. Like, we didn't fucking do a thing to him, but he's so shit, he can't even stay low. But, that's what you expect. They are all the same from that team. We learned that quickly in NIS. We did everything we needed to do. Just stupid ass racing. Now we're damaged. He, of course, is not. But, if there's yellow, we'll go in and throw some tires on it and try to get what we can. I mean, he is catching back up to other people, so there should be a wreck, I hope. But we gotta fix the damage as well. see what happens, but nothing we can do when someone needs two lanes on the bottom. We can't be that shit and run this type of racing. Well, you can, because it works out for him, because he's running in six right now. Car he was near wrecked. Pit road is closed. Catch up twenty three car. Catch up nine car. Catch up twenty three car. Catch up eight car. Catch up twenty three. He was gonna end up. All right. Well, let's throw tires on it and no fuel and let's try to get some damage fixed. They ain't done wrecking yet. There'll be some that stay out as well, so we can't do that. Oh, there is a lot of people staying out. All right. Um, I guess I will go pit and take tires and pit boxing ten. Hopefully, gain a lot every restart. Five, three, two. 
let's one. not have a lot of damage. Right we can only repair some of the damage. Alright, we can get it all done here. In this yellow, not on this stop, probably. Well, almost finished up. tires were 91.93, so they have very worn tires, but it's also more of a heat issue, so it's not going to really pay off, I don't think. And apparently the Ford didn't get a black flag for that restart, so... That wasn't a thing, but hopefully we'll be at full speed. If Cave could be full speed at Talladega, we should be able to be full speed here at Vega Degas. Vega Degas? <laughs> that works. We'll call it that. Thankfully, we got it all repaired in one stop. So there's going to be a few people pitting again. A couple of free spots there. And we won't have to line up behind lap cars. So we'll restart 15th. And just try every fucking thing we can. might just try to get to the high side, but everyone else might actually go up to the high side. Or it's just going to be an instant wreck, and we'll be in it. Well, 13 and I have, no, yeah, the 13 and I have the freshest tires by 20 laps, but we really only did about 10 laps on them. We've only got two laps, but if we make up some ground and then uh, get a yellow and make up some ground and get a yellow, 25 also is on tires. We just got to be aggressive here, not have a set line that we need to be in. Outside might be quicker, but not by much. We're going to make up ground really off the corners down low, but as you can see from when I was trying to pass the leader, that all you got to do is low line it like we're in an Indy car because trucks have no power. About to go green, stay focused. But we'll be aggressive here and just try and stay out of a wreck. The pace car is off. Be ready. The start doesn't really matter. Green flag. Green flag. Outside gets a little weird. Just be patient. We're not up to speed, so grip's not going to matter. I reckon. Okay. How the fuck do you run into me after we've missed the wreck? Fucking Red Bulls. Dude had the wall in me and a straight fucking line, and he still somehow turned into us.
I don't get that one. And all these guys get their spots back. Keep right open. I don't know how we got ran into after that. That's just... That's impressive. I don't know if he lifted off and the car turned because of it or what, but... Let's see what place we're actually in. I mean, it worked how we needed it to. Gain some spots, get a yellow. We're going to gain another spot here. Are in eleventh. Still on the inside. The lucky dog. Let them park on the outside. Let that twenty. Thirteen's got a ton of damage, so we should clear him now. Like clear him on the restart. We'll stay low though because. It's just everyone is getting up to speed through one and two, so tires don't come into play. But then I think we need to pop to the middle or outside in three and four and get the run. You've got wheel damage. Yeah, we've got we've wheel got damage. damage on the back end. Yeah. You've got damage on the right side. Yeah. We might not be all the way up to full speed. But I think since we don't have front end damage, we're okay. They really, in the green white checkered, they really just need to go short cautions. We don't need five caution laps. We just need to get back in the top eight. Hopefully we can get a clean start. Get to that middle or outside in three and four. Gain a couple of spots. And just see how it plays out. But if we get too good of a start, we're going to have to lift in 1 and 2 right around the exit of 2. So that's why I don't really care about the start. Because we'd rather be getting our run coming off the corner and not getting into the corner, have nowhere to go if we are a little quicker. I think the only person that... Oh, and the 13's pulling off, so we're starting on the high side. Okay. He must have a meatball. Well, that changes things. Now we just need to pinch as much as we can without getting wrecked. And weave our way through as needed. And hope the high side doesn't get a terrible start like last time. Just hope we got speed and there's not anything stupid wrong with it. 
but you definitely don't want to go top three wide on this start because it's just going to be the long way around. And tires, like I said, don't matter until you get up to speed. Both car is off, time to do your job. Green flag, green flag, you're in the top ten. You got a terrible start. I just had to wait. We couldn't go top three wide. That killed us. Got a dumbass lap car that has nothing to gain. They're wrecking again. I have no steering. Well, we almost made it through. No steering after getting slammed into the wall there. <sighs> Great job. Gotta thank the 19 for uh, just stuffing us in the wall. Good stuff by him. He wrecks once more. But let's go through all the wrecks. prediction codes but he was also turning down so that's why it prediction coded dude doesn't turn in comes up and hits the 26 I don't know what the hell the 15's doing there oh is the 19 wrecking him yep 19's just running into everyone Still running into him. Man, this guy is really good. Twenty-seven just turns down, trying to follow the car in front of him. That was the no caution wreck. Twenty-two losing it. Prediction codes. We probably got prediction coded by the guy, but I'm still annoyed by it. And 13 just gets wrecked. No, that was the guy that I said was scared. I was scared of for a second, 28. So what happened here? 25 is just really low. And 13 turns down in front of him. Two gets loose, and that wrecks the field. The whole field. Six down lap or six laps down and slamming into the wreck. Gets into the back of the 16. Saves it though. Uh, we were three wide. I did not know we were three wide. I was not getting the call. So that's on me. I take it back. I didn't know we were three wide. I don't think we were three wide actually. I think he was just trying to force it and he wasn't actually on the outside of the dude, but no, he was. We didn't get the call because we're not on the outside of the guy. So I had no idea we were three wide. So. That's on me. I will take the blame for it. Glad I didn't say anything until watching. 
I mean, I talked a lot of crap about him, but... And... Oh, alright, I thought it was broken, but we're good. And... Yep, oh, never mind. He's causing more wrecks as he wrecks the nine there, trying to go three wide up the middle. Six hits the brakes there, and shit just goes weird. I want to see how we get ran into here. I'm pretty sure I never even turned the wheel. And we just drove straight through this wreck. And then the 18 swerving all over the place for some reason on the high side. And then the final wreck. 11 just goes in, dumps the two, and then the two hooks him, and hey, there we are, just coming around, and there's our nose, and then we're just getting slammed, have no control over the truck, and that's the race. Almost made it through. We didn't lift at all. That one, that was just so unexpected to happen. Luckily, everyone that hit us there was already wrecking, so we didn't take anyone out that wasn't going to be in it. I racing. This is so ugly. Make this look better. I wish it wouldn't fall off. I wish it would crumple in. But. Yep. That was a big hit. I lifted a tiny bit. I hit the brakes a little bit. We got to the high side and then crunch. I'm turning it back to the right. Nothing. Because our front end is just gone. So close. Okay, the 18 wasn't going to make it through. But that is truck racing. These guys were absolutely terrible. But it is also just the type of racing you get when you make the cars have no power. Let's take a look at what we lost in that one. And we get 36 I rating loss and 20 safety rating loss. We will end up with a 16th place, but we beat the 19 because he got too many incidents. So that makes me feel better. Even though it wasn't really his fault, kind of was his fault. And then we saw him wreck about four other people. So it works out. We'll take that 16th. And, uh... Yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.